But in the Quran, men are considered protectors and maintainers of women because Allah has given one more strength over the other. But they also must support the women from their own means. So this is Surah Nisa, where many of the verses regarding women come. This is, uh, next slide please, the beautiful balance of Quran with rights come responsibilities. When have we ever gotten a right in Islam that we didn't have a responsibility attached to it? We have the rights to be Muslim and we have some responsibilities that come along with that. So the beautiful balance of Quran is that we have different strengths. Next slide please. We have different then responsibilities. The husband has some rights and some extra strength, so then he has to go out, make a living, and support his wife and his family. The woman does not have that responsibility. How nice is that for women? Uh, women have different bodies. Men have different bodies. Not only do they speak different languages, but they have different equipment. So of course they have a different dress code. The dress code of women is a little bit more extensive. We have more good stuff to cover. That's all right. I'm not thinking that it's prejudicial or in any way. I would rather not be going around to just, you know, like I'd just as soon men cover what they've got. I'd just as soon cover what I've got as well. Uh, I know not all women in America share this, uh, share this decision, but that's my decision. Um, we have an equal chance to attain paradise. This is where Safa and Marwa meet. We're on the same orbit. We both have the equal chance to attain paradise. We have equal rights to seek and gain knowledge. No leader of a country, no individual should ever tell a woman you don't have the right to go to school. This is haram. In Islam, this is not only our right, but our responsibility. The first word of the Quran revealed being ikra, read, and it was to all of humankind. So this is both of our rights and responsibility. Equal rights to earn a living. I love this equal right between male and females that we can all go out and make a living. But at the end of it all, remember the responsibility is that men have a little bit more strength, have a little bit more benefit in some situations, but who gets to keep their paycheck? Brothers, you know what I'm talking about. Who takes your paycheck? You know who does, it's your wives. That's, that's where it's supposed to go. And that's all right, right sisters? That's all right, if you get a paycheck, it goes right in your pocket, and that's for you and your security, and that's how Islam protects the rights of women, and that's okay. We have a great religion. People ask me, how could you have ever embraced Islam? Islam is so oppressive to women. I'm like, boy, if you only knew. The poor brothers, what <laughs> rights do they have? So what should husbands use their God-given strengths for? I, have to, I keep checking back because I'm not in control of the slide, so I want to make sure I'm saying the same thing that's up there on the screen. You have to use your strength to make a living. It's a responsibility that, that is placed on you, Islam, and fixing stuff. You've got to love a man who can fix stuff. Having been married to a man who could not screw in a light bulb to save his own neck, and to have a husband who can fix things now, it's such a blessing. SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah. Carrying and moving heavy things. How many of you sisters have ever had to move your dorm room or move your apartment and not being married, you didn't have a brother or a husband or whatever, and you're stuck? We love it when there's a brother at home, a husband at home, who can move the heavy things. Taking out the garbage. I, it was one of my favorite hadith that I found in this, in this topic, and I found it early on in my Muslim days, trust me. The Prophet was seen, uh, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Prophet Muhammad was seen taking out the garbage in his household. And a companion came to him all alarmed and questioned him and said, Ya Rasulullah, you shouldn't be doing this terrible, dirty job. He looked at him and said, so who should I have it? Who should I have do this job in my household? The mothers of all the believers? So he called him right there and then and said, you know what? The sisters aren't to be servants in the household. We are to do help in the household. And if this example were followed today in Muslim nations around the land, unity would fall around the world and, and it would all be a happier place, right? So remember, men, take the garbage out. Before your wives ask, preferably. As a Safan, a woman, I definitely appreciate having someone strong and helpful in the home. It sure beats the alternative. It definitely does. I was five, six years on my own in, in between marriages, and I did not like it <laughs> at all.